Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, and welcome to our Google Tag Manager tutorial. In this video of the tutorial, we're going to talk about deploying and migrating your tags over to Google Tag Manager, making sure you do it the right way. So you're going to want to understand how it all comes together, and we're going to show you that in this video. Let's talk about deploying your Google Tag Manager tags and migrating your existing tracking to Google Tag Manager. So what are the steps to deploying tags and migrating your existing tracking? You want to make sure that you preview everything first before you publish. You want to take a tag inventory and keep track of every tag you want to migrate to GTM. You want to add new tags and replace your base tags before migrating your entire installation. And you want to thoroughly test that your tags are working, but you don't want to fire your tags for all users until the old code is removed. So before you publish, preview. Here's what it looks like when you preview your workspace. You click on the preview button and then you just go to your website and you can see exactly what Google Tag Manager is doing behind the scenes. So previewing is a very essential part of troubleshooting and making sure that everything is working. Preview will be your best friend. And in fact, if you're in Google Tag Manager, you're gonna be in preview mode nine to 10 times more often than you're gonna be in publish mode. You wanna take a tag inventory and keep track of every tag that you wanna to migrate to GTM. So here's a sample of what a migration checklist might look like for you and your organization. You want to look at all pages with your base GA code, all pages that have AdWords conversion tracking, every event that you want to put in GTM, all your conversion, e-commerce pages, all your pages that have tracking scripts. You want to rebuild them all in GTM. You want to preview them in your new container to verify that they're working. And then you want to remove all the old tags from your website and then publish that new container with all the tags in Google Tag Manager. Now, of course, I went through that pretty quickly. I'm wondering, do you want me to create a comprehensive migration checklist? Leave a comment on this post or YouTube video, and I'm going to create a comprehensive migration checklist that will really be helpful for anybody who's looking to migrate from the old way of tracking to Google Tag Manager based on what you've learned in this tutorial. The next step is to add new tags and replace your base tags before migrating your entire installation. So again, use your Google migration checklist to keep track of everything that you need to do. What needs to be done? What have we done so far? And have we completed it? And what are the priorities we should go through? So again, if you want to see this checklist, if you want to see me build it out and even create a video around it, make sure you leave a comment and we're going to create it for you. And the final step is to thoroughly test that your tags are working, but they're not firing until the old code is removed. So this is a little bit tricky, but basically what you want to do is you want to publish, but you don't want these things to fire until the old code is removed. And so there's a technique you can use in order to make sure that that is the order of operations that these things happen. And the way that this technique works is that you set up a suppression trigger and you say, don't fire the tags if we can still see the old version of Google Analytics. So for example, if analytics.js is still present on the website, don't fire our new tags. But if they remove analytics.js, which is the old way of doing Google Analytics, then we can fire our tags. And so that way we have a safeguard where we're not double counting the visitors that are coming through. So we hope that you enjoyed this GTM tutorial. And if you did enjoy it, leave a comment with your biggest GTM question that you have for us. And if you want to see that GTM migration guide, make sure you leave a comment there as well.